Make sure to check out the links in the description below for more videos, as well as take a look at my Patreon page, which is a great way to support the channel because without your support, it could not exist. Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to be talking about the Munsters. More specifically, the theme song of the Munsters, which is very popular, and many people simply recognize it within the first tones that they hear of the song. Many people don't even watch the show, know it's from the Munsters. Same thing with the Addams Family. Who doesn't know the <laughs> snap? Anyway, back to the Munsters song. I'm gonna tell you all about the theme song, how it was composed, and who composed it, and why this is so important. The man who composed this famous tune, his name is Jack Marshall. He was a veteran studio guitarist, and he trusted no one else to make that theme song, especially the part with the electric guitar. I have it playing in the background, and it's one riff that is very unique, and it's only something that he could do himself. So on the day of August 17th, 1964, he picked up an electric guitar himself in a very small studio with an equally small studio ensemble and recorded the theme on this day at Universal Studios Hollywood in Universal City. There was even a jazz type version released in October 1964, conducted by Marshall's own orchestra, and it was pretty interesting to hear. Now this theme song could be described in this way. It is scored in the episodes in a cartoonish Halloween style fashion. You have an organ brass as well as a twangy electric guitar. Originally, Jack Marshall's plan was to make the Munster's theme an instrumental and it never included any lyrics. This was until 1965. Now in 1965, there was a children's long playing album that was released and it featured the cast in song and narration. Now if you want to look, you could probably find it. It was titled At Home with the Munsters by Golden Records Productions in 1964. It included songs like It Takes All Kinds of People. Now this was sung by Herman, that is Fred Gwynn himself. And you may not believe that Butch Patrick, yes, he played Eddie sang a song entitled I Wish Everyone Was Born This Way. Now, it was dubbed by someone else, so it wasn't actually Patrick's voice. Now, Jack Marshall was born in El Dorado, Kansas, and passed away in 1973. He was a guitarist, a composer, an author, and a teacher. And he was relatively young when he passed away. And what was interesting is he did have a pretty large resume of work that included some scores from films like Thunder Road, Monsters Go Home, Tammy and the Millionaire, Kona Coast, and Stay Away, as well as Joe. Additionally, for television, he did programs such as The Deputy, The Debbie Reynolds Show, Laredo, Have Gun, Will Travel. He also composed and arranged music for singers Peggy Lee, Vic Damian, Judy Garland, and Dinah Shore, which is really cool. So next time you hear that Munsters theme song when you're watching an episode, think about Jack Marshall and the contribution that he made to the show. Think about how many shows today do have words or lyrics added to the song. Now, some don't, of course, but the majority do have lyrics connected to them. So I think the fact of the genius of Jack Marshall is that he was able to compose this theme and everyone still to this day after so many years recognizes it. Thank you so much guys and gals. If you want to see more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. That's how I know that you want to see more content. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to stay positive, always better yourself, and most importantly, be hopeful.